me today or this time for right now <laughs> uh, gonna go ahead and run to the ATM and get money to pay our second turner for last week and I'm gonna run into uh, Hobby Lobby or Michael's um, I need to get uh, somewhere that has the DMC floss because I need to look at colors um, I received the renderings of our next batch of diamond paintings back from the designer and they definitely are going to have to change the skin tone that they used um, on golden uh, well, Edward and I were out last weekend I picked up one of those uh, DMC color charts and I'm having trouble getting used to looking at it because it's not, they're not in numerical order. It's like reds are with reds, greens are with greens, blues are with blues, that kind of thing. But the numbers are kind of all over the place. Um, it doesn't go like one, two, three, four. There is a, um, a chart, like a, a guide chart that tells you like, okay, if you look on there and you find the number, the DMC number you're looking for, it tells you what row and what column that you'll find um, the picture of the actual color itself. But I just, um, actually, if I'm being fully transparent, I just noticed that it had that this morning. So, I just haven't played around with using that part. But anyway, um, I did just scanned through all the columns and found the four main colors that they put as her skin tone and um, that's not going to do at all. It's red and pink. And um, that's the not at all like the original artwork. The original artwork is obviously it's a fairy um, and we can we know this for for fact because we can see the ear in this image um, so it's a it's a fantasy humanoid but um, it is definitely not red and pink <laughs> she is definitely a POC um, fairy so, I want to stay true to that. Um, I was worried about my sword. Um, and in all honesty, I think she might be a little too pink and red. Um, but she, it, it may also work out because in my sword, the face is large enough for the detail. So, you can tell what everything is. But we're only seeing the profile view. And it's not a very large part of the painting but for golden her face is it's a three-quarter view plus her ear and it's a significant portion of the painting so I'm feeling the pressure to get it right uh, but anyway back to the DMC chart I found four colors that I think would look nice as her skin tone. I'm not sure if they would shade together well though. So I thought, well, since I have to go out today anyway, why don't I just run into Michael's or Hobby Lobby and go to the DMC floss and pull some of those colors and put them together and actually see them that way. Um, maybe that would help. I know, you know, dye lots are different and all this, blah, 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 but I can still get a better idea of how it may translate onto the diamond painting itself. Um, I did reach out. I phoned a friend 
and I, um, you know, asked for some assistance. So they are going to take a look at it and give me their opinion, which I can't even begin to say thank you enough for the help. Um, you know, this is one of those things, it's new to me. I've never really played around with the skin tone before, especially when there's shading involved. Um, you know, it's just all this pressure I put on myself and I feel pressure from the community because there's so much talk about skin tone not being done well, especially for POC. So, um, <clears throat> I want to kind of make everyone proud, including, and maybe most importantly, the artist. <laughs> um, I don't want to mess up with her artwork and not be able to make any more diamond paintings because her gallery is just amazing. Um, so that's kind of what I'm in the middle of for, you know, the diamond paintings as far as those are concerned. Uh, the second new image that'll be in this next release, also they need to do some more work on because there's, there's one area where I feel like there's, the detail isn't there. Instead, it's just like a huge shadow area. It's like all one solid color when there needs to be details there and the details are there in the original artwork so it definitely needs some some tweaking on that part and I even asked them I was like does it does it need to be made bigger you know to get that detail in there but that detail is important this will be our first time with this particular artist um and I'm in love with the image and actually Edward picked this one out and the artist very kindly, um, you know, told us that we could pick out the name, but I let Edward pick the name. So, he is very excited for this one. Um, so we want to get that right as well, so. Uh, there's, a, there's just a lot involved <laughs> when it comes to this kind of thing, y'all. Um see what else is going on with me. Well, I mean, I made a, I made an Instagram post yesterday. I actually made a couple of posts almost kind of back to back. It just like to, I don't know, it's what I was feeling in the, in the moment. Um, I've not been having the best days of, you know, the last few days. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on with me, but it's like I really right now could very easily break down and cry. Matter of fact, I'm fighting back tears right now. Um, it's, there's just been a lot, one thing after another after another. Uh, so, you know, we've got the diamond paintings going that I'm working on. I'm in the middle of these spring mystery boxes, which I am having a lot of fun seeing them come to you know to fruition, getting them packed to the boxes and everything, and seeing the excitement that everyone's having when I contact them and say, "Hey, if you're ready to pay the postage, this is and I can go ahead and get your sent out to you," and they are super excited, and that makes me feel so much joy. But it's a lot of work I've put on myself packaging these boxes. <laughs> so I'm feeling the need to hurry up and get it done when it comes to those. Um, and also add into that the anxiety of not knowing if people are going to like what's in them because Nobody but Edward and I knows exactly what's in them. Uh, so there's a little bit of that going on. Um, I've got a lot of orders that are sitting in the queue that I need to pack up. And so very appreciative of everyone who has 
purchased from us since we started um, we're seeing growth which is an indescribable feeling um, it's kind of overwhelming in a good way <laughs> uh, we're feeling the love definitely feeling the love but also here here I go again I'm feeling that pressure um, a lot of our reviews um, mention how quickly we get things shipped and you know if, if you're unaware hi it's me your friendly shipping department um, Edward has helped me a couple of times um, just recently over the last week or two but everything before then it's all me <laughs> doing the shipping um, and as we're trying to change some processes and make things go smoother make things easier you know why is it that when you try to make things easier for a while there things are just harder <laughs> just trying to get into a new flow you know um, but I, I feel like I'm not getting the orders out as quickly as I should um, which I'm, I've not according to the numbers in Etsy and the dates I'm not behind on getting anything sent out I, I'm well within my time frame it's just not as quick as it has been um, but you know just being one person there's only so much I can do um, yesterday I worked a 12-hour day <laughs> Uh, well, apart from the time that I was going to pick up our daughter from school, it was about an hour and a half to two hours because I have to go and sit and wait. But, um, so about ten hours. So, yeah. Uh, I've still got a lot of orders sitting in the queue that need to be done. Um, the last thing I did last night was work on packaging up the little... Are putting together the little baggies that go with the pins you know the little organza bags that have our resin tag on it those things um, because I needed them to be ready for today so that I could pack up orders that, that that's that's one thing that delays getting orders sent out is if I don't have any of those resin tags ready or if I don't have any of those baggies ready to go where I can just grab them I have to stop and then spend the time it takes to put together those baggies because when they're together it is so much easier just to grab one like the we've already signed or written on the back of the business card there's already candy in there there's already a sticker in there um, and there's already a resin tag in the bag all I gotta do is just dump the multi put the multi placers in there put the tag on the string and tie the bag up and throw it in the box with the pin so it really is in the grand scheme of things it's it's a fairly quick process but it doesn't happen if I don't have the bags prepared so I went ahead and put those together last night I think I have like 45 of the bags ready to go for the next 45 orders that are ready to go out I mean um, it feels like I'm having to make those bags twice a week where I used to make them once a week. Um, not that I'm using 45 each time, but it's like I'll do 45 or whatever and then I run out, but I've still got orders to pack. So I'll go ahead and make another 45. You know what I'm saying? And I might use five of the 45. I don't know. I'm probably just talking in circles now. Um, so other things non work related that have been going on um, one thing I forgot to, that, or that I left out of my Instagram post the picture I posted is like of the um, the emotions from inside out and it, <laughs> I put a clown face over joy so I was like joy's a clown I'm not feeling any joy right now but envy anger sadness uh, anxiety or whatever he's called yeah I'm feeling those guys <laughs> it was just kind of all coming to a head and just like bubbling up at once um, 
Well, the first thing that happened, and this happened a couple weeks ago, actually. I haven't talked about it publicly, but my mother was put in the hospital and then sent home. And then a few days later, she was back in the hospital. And then a day or two after that, she was transferred to a rehab facility to... That's just kind of the way that it's worked with her. She'll be be at the rehab to help her regain some strength so she can move. Um, but over the last four or five, maybe a little bit long, no, probably seven or eight years, actually, every time this happens, she gets sick and then ends up in the hospital, then the rehab, and then she's fine for a little while. But... According to my brother, and just from what I've seen, I've not talked to any of her doctors or whatever, but she is having um, some dementia. Um, and that is difficult in and of itself. You know, it was not last year, but I think the year before... You know, my this is very shitty and selfish of me to say, but it's like I knew something was off with her because my birthday came and went, and I talked to her on my birthday, but she didn't say a thing about it being my birthday, and that is the first time that's ever happened, and that was my 40th birthday. So for 40, it took for 39 years, she always said something about it being my birthday on my birthday, but then that time she didn't. But last year she did. Um, but I'm a really shitty ch child because I haven't gone to see her and I don't really know why other than I don't feel like I can handle it right now emotionally um because it's very hard when she has these flare-ups or whatever you want to call it and it, it's she wasn't put in the hospital for dementia it is an actual like a virus or you know she's just extremely weak um she has problems with her kidneys and anytime she gets like a cold or a sinus infection and takes something over the counter for it it wreaks hell on her kidneys and that puts her in the hospital um, so anyway, just, it, it's very, I really don't know any other word to describe it other than saying traumatic for me. And I know I need to go. I know I need to see her. Um, I just don't know how to handle it. If I'm being brutally honest. I feel like I can't handle it. Um, so anyway, there's, there's all that kind of with her going on in the background. Um, then one morning last week, this is going to sound really stupid and petty coming off of that topic right there, but I'm just like trying to explain the progression of unfortunate events that have been happening that are building up and making me so emotional right now. Um, we got our tax information back and it was about what we were anticipating, which we knew it was going to be bad. Hang on, let me do this. Why is it I never park close enough to the daggone machine? Oh. Now I gotta try to get closer without hitting anything. So not only do I have short legs, I have short arms. Okay, that's a little bit better.
Okay, so what was I saying? Um, Alright, we talked about my mom and me being a shitty kid. Then, okay, then one more. Oh, we got our tax information back. Which we knew that was going to be a hard pill to swallow, but we're going to do what we got to do to try to make it work and handle our business, right? <laughs> well, one morning last week, or was it even Saturday? It was Saturday. Yeah, actually, it was this past Saturday morning. I was still in bed. Edward was up, and I hear this crashing noise from the kitchen. Um, the kitchen and our bedroom share a wall, so I could hear. So, when I, I didn't get up then, I was too dang on tired, but, um... When I did get up, <laughs> I walked into the kitchen, and on the stove was the lid to uh, our pressure cooker, Instapot, whatever. And all I could smell was like this super strong smell of, of super glue. And I asked Edward, I was like, is that what I heard? He said, yes, the damn thing about killed me or something like that. He went to go get the pressure cooker off the top of the refrigerator to start dinner. We use that pressure cooker a lot. It feels like we use it at least once a week. Um, but it, the lid slid off and crashed on the ground and, and like it shattered. There were little pieces of plastic everywhere. And he picked up as much as he could and tried to glue it back together and he was like well I glued it back together and it fits on there I mean I we can't use it as a pressure cooker anymore but he so he was thinking that he was still gonna use it as a pressure cooker uh, no as a not a pressure cooker but well, damn it what's, what's the word anyway anyway I looked at him I said no <laughs> We are not risking that. We are not using this thing anymore. So, not that we really should have spent the money on it, but again, like I said, that's something we use a lot. It's like, we're going to just have to go get a new one. I mean, it's just kind of one of those things. Not a exactly a frivolous expense it's a nice luxury type thing but it's very useful we we use it so anyway we went to walmart and got one it was only like 90 bucks it wasn't that bad so that situation got resolved then uh, oh, and then, I don't know if it was later on that same day or the next day, um, the dogs broke my couch. The couch is already ruined. I don't know if y'all been with me for any length of time. It was a couple Christmases ago. I showed my brand new couch. I absolutely love it. It's the gray leather, and it's got the electronic reclining seats on both ends and then a third reclining seat that's a manual reclining seat um yeah one of the ends of the electronic reclining thing broke and we're trying to fix it 
as best he could, but the thing won't close all the way now. And we just paid it off. So, that really sucked. Um, and then, I, everything on top of, I mean, I, everything else that's going on right now, I don't know if I'm such an emotional wreck because I started taking them damn libido pills, as Edward calls them. <laughs> but I'm, this is not like me to be tearing up and almost crying. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I'm just all in my feelings and I need to get out of them. I need to stop. So anyway. Ugh. I gotta run into Michael's here real quick to look at that DMC floss. But I wanted to finish my cup of coffee because by the time I come back out here it's going to be freezing cold. It's 37 degrees here right now. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because I love it. I much prefer this over the heat for sure. But it's kind of crazy. I mean, welcome to North Carolina where you don't know how to dress. Ooh. Anyway. here and I'll be back soon. See you guys in a little while. Okay. I'm proud of myself. I did look a little round. A little round. Jeez. Can't even talk. I did look around in Michael's a little bit. Um. I found a couple of colorways that may work for the skin tone so that's good and now I'm ready to head home uh, it feels like there's something else I should do while I'm in town but I even asked Edward before I left the house and he didn't know of anything so oh well see I've been gone for about 40 minutes or so. That's including driving time. Maybe closer to 50 minutes. It'll be alright. Um, I forgot where I stopped talking about the... Oh, I know. It's going into detail about my emotional state and... And I don't know, I get, I don't know why I'm feeling some type of way. Like, I need to just suck it up and shut up. And, but isn't that what we do so many, so often is that we just, you know, shut up and hold in our feelings and nothing ever gets resolved and it just makes us feel worse. But my problem is I don't, I don't know how to really express <laughs> what I'm feeling because I can't really pinpoint it and the biggest thing is I don't want to come off sounding like an ungrateful bitch you know what I mean because there's just little things here and there and I don't know it's, it's just weird I can't really talk about it without giving away details and I don't want to give away details because it involves other people in the community. Um, and that's not what I want to do. I don't want to start anything, you know? I just don't understand. Sometimes. <clears throat> but, anyway... I guess those are the type of things that I need to just talk about with Edward off camera and not be public about it, I guess. You know what I mean? I don't know. So, anyway, I've been debating on whether or not, we're, you know, I wanted to do live tonight and, you know... I, I'm not sure that I do, but I know Edward does. Um, 
he really enjoys spending the time with you guys that are there. Uh, so, I'll do it for him. Because um, that's kind of what marriage is, isn't it? Doing things you don't necessarily want to do because your spouse wants to do them. <laughs> or is that not marriage? I don't know. I'm new at this. So anyway, guys. Um, head on back home and pack some orders until it's time to go get the kid from school. And then I'll go back home and work again until it's 6 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Today's it's just an off day. I need to... I don't know. I don't know what I need to do. I need to do something. I'll figure it out. I always do. I'll figure it out. But apart from all my crap, I hope all of you have been having a wonderful day. Um, and if you haven't, I hope it gets better for you soon. Because we kind of all need it right now, I guess, don't we? Mm. 